A point came, Moses literally lived on the mountain. If you read the Bible, you will hardly find the tent of Moses. As Moses is coming down, you will hear that God say, come up here. Uh -uh. The other time I was reading the book of Exodus and I say, I thought they said Moses have a wife. This one that God is calling him every day. What about his family? <laughs> I, 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 felt, I felt compassion for Moses' wife. What, 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 what is the meaning of The guy is called, he goes there, he's, he's there for 40 days. And when he came down from the mountain, he saw that Israel had violated the law of God. He broke the commandment. And the Bible says he laid on his face. Not for four hours. He laid on his face for 40 days. Moses did not fast for 40 days and 40 nights. Moses fasted for 80 days and 80 nights. The first one was on the mountain. The second one was on his face. Try to fast for seven days. You will know the difference between you and Moses. But this man became so immortal because of their deep interaction with God. In fact, Moses at the age of 120, the Bible said his strength was not abated. His eyes were not dim because the guy could not die. Glory had rested on him so much that God had to come down to invent a technology of killing the man. Because he knows that if he doesn't kill this man, people will start worshipping him. People will, you know, and the way God killed Moses was a secret. God had to take him away from the eyes of mortal men because the guy literally had become a god. And if you know how they kill a god, you may hunt God one day. So he had to hide Moses at the back of the mountain and killed Moses there. And even after he killed Moses, the devil was finding, where did they take this? If we carry the body of Moses, maybe if we study it in the museum of hell, we may learn some things, we may find some specimen by which we will become like God. Hope you know, when they offended Moses, Moses said, except I'm not a man of God. He said, the earth will open her mouth and swallow you up. Where did you hear from that? The earth has mouth. It's where he traveled to. You are the one that thinks they farm on earth only. Moses knows that the earth has <laughs> You, you think earth is for farming. And then you are struggling for farm land. This is my land. And you are killing yourself. You, you. <laughs> How did he know that the earth has mouth? Because he, he has been in the courts of heaven before. You know when Abel was killed by Cain. God said the earth has opened her mouth and has received this blood. And he said, that blood is crying to you from the ground. God was talking to Abel from the courts of, of Zion. Moses has gone there. So Moses knows that because I know this, I can command it. He took intimacy for these guys to walk like gods on it. Meanwhile, the reason he pained me so much is because the Bible said they don't have eternal life. And then you now check yourself. You have eternal life. You walk, you say, I have the Holy Ghost. I am, I am a God man. I am a new creation. And this new creation, if they say there is, there is a flu, you, you, you will have to lock yourself in the room for three weeks because if you breathe the air, you are gone. It's a body that we have fallen so, so far from God that even the animals are stronger than us now. A lion doesn't need clothes. He will walk in the cold and he is agile. Meanwhile, you, if you don't wear cardigan, if the temperature is 20 degrees, after two days, fever will kill you. How come we have become the weakest creation? Meanwhile, we were created as supreme in the creations of God. What has happened? Intimacy is gone. And when intimacy goes, you become flesh of flesh.